I'm a loser, people. Oh, yeah, let's get that out of the way. You know, 36, not married. I sleep on a futon. You know, my back hurts. It's awful. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. People, let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? What's it like, three out of four marriages go right down the drain now? People, if you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't going to open, you'd be like, yo, forget it, I'm not going. I don't like those odds. I'm just kidding, people. You know what? I'll get married. I'll get married the day I see a married guy who actually, like, looks happy. You know what I mean? Because every time you see a married dude, anytime you ask them what it's like being married, they always tell you it's good, but they have a look on their face like they have like an appendicitis. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. You're like, yeah, you know, so what's it like being married? They're like, yeah, it's good, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good, you know, it's a lot of work, but, uh, you know, it's good. You know what I mean? When you meet that right person and, you know, it starts to click. Like when you see the Doug Heffernans of the world, it's just like, it's nice. Oh no, it's great. It's great. Just ring. Love it. Love it. They don't hate it, but it's just like it's keeling over. Like I don't know if I can disclose that I I love I love I I love my wife. Yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm finding? I'm not compatible with them. You know? I'm serious. Women have like too much energy for me. That's what I've noticed. You know? Like you can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just like see that open day. They're like, oh my god, let's go fill it up with some stuff. <laughs> Okay, most guys you just want to chill, but still, it's not, it's, it's different. What are you gonna do? You're gonna watch sports, so you might as well just make a sandwich with me for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes! <laughs> Every one of their ideas involves like walking around, like looking at stuff. It's almost like they're trying to wear you down. After like two or three stores, you're like leaning on stuff. <laughs> I don't care. Just buy something. I don't care. You know what the worst one is? You ever get that one? You want to go to brunch? You want to go to brunch on Sunday? And it's God, you're like, no! <laughs> but you can't say that. You got to keep them happy, right? So what do you do? You're like, yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $18 for eggs? Now nah, you're thinking. That is a great point. Loki, I've always hated the idea of brunch because I really gotta wake up early just for breakfast that I could just wake up late for and eat at twelve. Like I don't want to. I don't want to wake up early for overpriced eggs on toast with orange juice and cheap champagne. Like I don't. I don't need that. Now you think it. Then we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs. Like is that pesto? disagree i really do but every brunch or like little brunch thing i've been to not very deep conversations it's just oh what kind of food did you get oh you got eggs okay i got eggs too but you get toast i got toast too yeah then you eat the toast and the eggs and you call it a day and then you go home yeah not not very deep not very deep. it's usually very chill but that's the whole point is to be chill but, but i could just be chill at home yeah 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 so I was dating this girl recently. This girl's like really like into like women's issues. <laughs> she got me this book on women's lib one time, right? So I'm reading this thing. I think women's lib was a great thing. Like back in the 70s, I thought it was cool, you know? Over the last couple of years though, I think that whole woman's movement, it's really starting to morph into kind of like this reverse pimping kind of thing, you know? Because every time you see them on TV, they always say all we want is be treated exactly like guys, right? But if you listen to them, they don't. They only want the good stuff of being a guy. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet. <laughs> like you just can start picking out stuff. That's like same amount an hour, That's we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie, that's okay, you can keep that one out. <laughs> this is nice, that's yucky, that's icky. I mean, come on people, you can't choose. 
This is This girl gave me a rough time one time. She goes, well, why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some screwed up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. <laughs> come to learn how much easier life is or life can be for a woman these last few years and boy oh boy sorry to men it is a lot for you guys to do you guys gotta mow the lawn take care of your household financially you gotta kill the mice you gotta kill the pest you gotta take out the trash clean the gutters you gotta you gotta do a lot of things all the heavy lifting of like fixing the car just a lot of heavy just the financial burden alone is a lot and then god forbid something bad happens you guys have to stay and i can go that's Sorry. Like, it's a joke, but there's a lot of truth there. So that's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. <laughs> Seriously, that if something screwed up happens, either I can't leave yeah. or I gotta, like, get in the way of it to give you a head start. Like, rabbit dog, yeah. run, honey. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> you hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it yeah. out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. <laughs> a woman should make a dollar less an hour to do the exact same job okay i'm not saying that all i'm saying is if you're gonna make what i make when the boat sinks you better be standing right there next to me listen to that guy play the cello <laughs> It is fair because you really do see a lot of women saying, well, oh, I want that job. I want to be in the cushy corner office and making 200K in these cubicles and things like that. And I'm like, we only bring that up for the cushy, comfortable office jobs. No one's ever bringing that up for the guys who work at the oil rig, for the guys who work maybe like maybe in manufacturing, who are building boats, the ones who are on sea for like, what is it, half the year. No woman ever brings up those jobs. They only ever bring up the Bill Gates and the Mark Zuckerberg type jobs. And it's just, it's, it's really not cool. If we're going to say we want to be equal to men, you have to include it all because men do a lot of jobs and a lot of things that a woman would not like to do. To be honest with you, bro, I don't want to do it. I'm happy to thank and congratulate men for all that they do. I do not want to be doing a lot of the things that's true. Pest control, I don't want to do that job. Car mechanics, welding, truck drivers. Some of y'all are sitting for 18 hours, you know, working in a corn mill. Did I just say a corn mill? I don't know. Working a farm for like 80 hours. It's just really, really long days. And behalf of me, can't speak for all women, but a lot of women should say this. Thank you guys. You guys do a lot. So thank you very much. I like that movie, The Titanic. You know, you know what I hate about that movie? Every girl I meet thinks that movie's romantic. Like, oh my God, that was so romantic, don't you think? I haven't seen that movie. Should I see it? I'm not a movie person, but maybe, maybe I should. I don't know. No! <laughs> to dress up.